क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिड a process that is known as gabriel thalamide synthesis and now in this topic we are going to talk about that how we can prepare our amines from amide so now let's get start if we talk about amides amides are nothing but rc double bond o and h2 this is the general formula for amide for that the only thing that we need is we already have nh2 the only thing is we have to reduce this c double bond or this carbonyl group to ch2 and for that we have that is lithium aluminum hydride so if we are reacting this amide with lithium aluminum hydride and that also in presence of that is an acidic condition that is h3o plus so in this case we see this c double bond o it will be converted into rch2 nh2 so this is how basically we can prepare primary amine and talking about that is this carbon atom obviously it will not degrade and the total number of carbon atoms which are present in the amide it will be remaining as it is whenever it comes to the total number of carbon in amine so that's the reason so this is a very good method that the total number of carbon atom it doesn't decreases and that's the reason that uh, even the molecular mass even doesn't changes when it comes to the total number of carbon atom so that's the reason that this is how basically we can prepare primary amide but there is also an alternative method from which we can convert the amide into amine so for that let me talk about that reaction so the alternative method is suppose if we are considering the amide that is rc double bond o nh2 and suppose if we are reacting it with bromine and that also in presence of that is four moles of NaOH and this NaOH can be aqueous also or could be alcoholic also so in this process basically the product that we could get is nothing but it is RNH2 plus Na2CO3 along with that of that is two moles of NaBr and the byproduct would be that is two moles of H2 so this is the product that we could get that is again a primary amine but if you observe there is a total number of carbon that are been present in the amide is not the same that is been present in the primary amide so the reason behind that is here basically the carbon which is in the form of carbonyl now it is basically degraded and that's the reason that it has been removed in the form of na2co3 that is sodium carbonate so this kind of process where we can find or where we can convert an amide into an amine by just decreasing the total number of carbon atom by one this kind of reaction is known as hoffmans bromamide degradation so this is the general reaction of hoffman's bromamide degradation and this is one of the important reactions where we can easily prepare a primary amine which have one carbon atom less compared to that of its amide so this is one of the general reaction but now let me explain this reaction with the help of an example so friends in the previous lecture we have discussed that we can't prepare aromatic amine or we can't prepare aryl amines but in this process even we can prepare aromatic amines or we can prepare aryl amines for example aniline so even that could be prepared from this method so for that let me give an example suppose if we are taking aromatic amide that is here i am considering benzamide that is benzene c double bond o nh2 and suppose if i am reacting it with bromine and that also in presence of that is NaOH obviously four moles of NaOH then the reaction will proceed in such a manner that this carbonyl group obviously this carbon will degrade and this is how basically this benzene ring it will rather than attaching this C double bond it will get attached on this nitrogen atom and that is the reason that the main product that we could get here is benzene which is attached to NH2 along with that of the byproduct that we could get is nothing but Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate and talking about the other products that is 2 NaBr and with that of 2 moles of H2O so this is what we can convert that is benzamide into aniline and this is what basically aniline is been prepared through so this is one of the reaction or this is one of the examples of the bromide degradation that is Hoffman's bromide degradation and that's it so this is what I want to talk about so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much